In this video I am going to show you a super hot cinematic intro in Filmora like this. This intro makes a good impression by using your YouTube channel as an intro at the beginning of any movie or any scene. Friends, I request you to please like this video. Because friends, the video is made with a lot of effort, I have to make it with my mind, so you must like the video. And if you find the video helpful, let me know in the comments. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to the channel. So let's get started. To do this, I import my channel logo, and an intro video into Filmora. I have this intro something like this. The link to this intro is in the description, you can download and use it for free. And this is the logo of my channel Sali Tutorials. First of all you have to drag and drop the intro on the timeline. And drag and drop the logo into the track above it. Double click on the logo. Go to the animation tab and click on it. And then click customize. Add a keyframe to the start of the logo. Increase the scale in this keyframe as much as possible. And adjust the position in such a way that most of the logo is off screen. Move the playhead forward 1, 14 seconds. Since we are adjusting the logo on this duration with intro sound effect. The second keyframe here is to add. Reset the position in this keyframe. So this will create some kind of animation. Then reduce the scale in the same keyframe and adjust the size of the logo to your liking. I set the scale to 40. You can do more or less. So you can see that we created something like this zoom out animation. Place the playhead on top of the keyframe and split the logo here. And drag and drop the last part of it into the track above it. Increase the duration of the second track logo like this. Double click on the second track logo. Open the compositing tab inside the basics tab. Here we want to put an effect on the logo. First we'll hide the logo track above so we can see the second track logo. Select the second track logo. Open the blend mode box. Select the soft light inside this box. So we adjusted the logo to the effect according to the intro. Now move the playhead to the start of the track logo above. Show this track. Go to the animation tab and click on it. We already have the customize tab open. From here, we have to add a keyframe to the logo of the track above. Zero the opacity level in this keyframe. Then move the playhead to 3, 10 seconds. Where we have smoke ended in the intro. And here too, is to add a keyframe to the logo of the track above. Reset opacity in this keyframe. So it became a dissolve effect between the two logos. Okay. Then we will add the text and also adjust the text according to the intro. Go to titles. From here, drag and drop the default title into the track above the timeline. Drag and drop the title to the same track as the start of the third track logo. Split and delete the extra part of the title. Double click on the title and edit the title. I write the name of my channel Sali Tutorials. I keep the font style stencil. Adjust the font size to your intro. I keep the font size to 40. Adjust the position of the title. I adjust by moving down from this center. Scroll down the text settings. Change the color of the text from here. If you wish, you can also apply the color of your logo to the text using this picker tool. For this I will move the playhead a little further so that I can see the logo correctly. Then take the picker tool, and click on the corresponding color of the logo. 
This way you can apply the colors of your logo to the text and match the colors of both. Okay. Then we have to add animation according to the intro on the text. So double click on the text and go to the animation tab and click on it. And then on customize, add a keyframe here. Zero the opacity level in this keyframe. And then to insert the second keyframe, click on the second keyframe of the second track then the playhead will be moved there automatically. When the playhead is moved here, click on the title above and add a keyframe here. Reset opacity in this keyframe. Open the video tab above and open the compositing tab. Select the difference inside the blending mode box here. OK. Adjust the durations of the logos of the two intermediate tracks according to the intro. So with that we made a super hot cinematic intro. We hope you enjoy this super hot cinematic intro. If you have any questions regarding this video, please comment below. I will reply to your comment. And I will help you. I keep bringing you helpful videos like this. So please like this video. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. And keep creative better videos with Solly tutorials. Also visit my second YouTube channel Royal Solly where you will also find some great videos. See you soon. Peace.